The rivers are just magnetic. The guides say once you get it in your blood, you never get it out, and that's true. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Brewer from Country Road Cabins, and this is my husband, Paul. Hi, I'm Paul Brewer. In 1969, I took a canoe trip with Bob Morgan on the New River, starting from Radford, Virginia, and heading down the river toward Thurman, West Virginia. Beautiful river, and fell in love with the area and the people, and definitely wanted to stay. It was 1996, uh, we started building log cabins, and uh, we wanted 401k, so to speak, so this was our retirement. We've got uh, 89 acres. We've got 19 cabins that we take care of. We try to cater to the, to the busy couples as a getaway so they can relax. They're fully deluxe cabins with living rooms, kitchens, fully equipped, dish network, wireless, hot tub on the deck, uh, fireplace. There are lots of outdoor recreation opportunities here from whitewater rafting, tree canopy zipline tours, horseback riding. The New River Gorge, they say the second oldest river in the world, flows north. And we also, the Gully River, which uh, Canoe Magazine rated number 10 in the world as challenging whitewater rapids. You know, at Country Road Cabins, we've got 19 cabins. We take a lot of maintenance and a lot of different attachments on this Massey Ferguson 1533 to, to, to do the job right. You know, you got to have the right bucket, you got to have the right hydraulics, uh, which are good and solid on this tractor. We've got over a mile of gravel road around here, so it takes a lot of maintenance. When you're on the hills here in West Virginia, there's nothing flat. But this is stable enough and there's enough beef in here that you feel secure even though you're on a hillside. You know, I can get a bucket load of gravel and dump it where I need it and then, you know, scrape it down and so forth and work it. They say I'm playing on the tractor, but you know, we all know that's working. You mow in, in pretty heavy brush and this just walks right over it. You know, the, it seems to be the right setup. The, even the platform on the tractor has plenty of room for my size 15 feet. And the adjustment on the seed, but it also has a weight adjustment, which is fantastic. What I mean by beef is, is just the heaviness of the front axle. They move up and down a little more than the other tractors. The rear tires, you know, bigger transmissions. It just seems to have more torque. You know, that's the beef, the iron in it. You know, around in these hills, again, there's a lot of trees, as you can see around here, there's, there's, you know, it's tight. We don't want to cut all the trees around, they're beautiful. So you got to have tight turning radiuses. When I have this 25-foot pole out front that I lift trusses with and set structurally insulated panels that are four and 500 pounds, you've got to go very slow and be very careful with it. And that's where this creeper gear just is fantastic for me. It just idle it down and it's got plenty of torque to move forward, but a very slow rate. And, and I can set these fence panels very, very well with that. I love it. And the engine, I don't know where it gets all of its power, but it just sips fuel. I mean, I can go all day long and it seems like I don't use any fuel for the, for the power we get out of this tractor. I've had no problems with it at all. Changed, you know, recommended filter changes and things like that. Um, Nettles Equipment, who I bought this from, is a great dealer. Um, we had an issue with the uh, fuel a little bit ago, and, and, and I guess the fuel of this suppliers are not providing good fuel. I don't know what it is, but anyway, we called the mechanic and they just walked us right through it, you know, and, and we were able to get, get up and running quickly. You know, after four years, I'm still finding new things to do with it. Love this tractor and look forward to another 10 years. Or maybe I'll trade it in on another one. You know? 